Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's a glorious Easter Sunday, deep in the Surrey Hills. Yes, I'm in the Surrey Hills yet again. And today, if you think back to the Wooten video recently, I was talking about Ray Fawn Williams. So I'm spanking that National Trust membership again, and I'm gonna pay a visit to Leith Hill Place where he grew up. A house he bequeathed to the National Trust in 1944. So uh, yeah, I've never been there before. I think it was closed for a hell of a long time. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. We're going into bluebell season, as you can see, we've got some bluebells coming in. Very nice. Oh, it's lovely. So uh, yeah, let's go for a little walk down to the house. Just come across this incredible tree. Look at this. That's one mighty, 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 mighty beast. Wow. And I think I did really well maneuvering around all the lycra coming down Leith Hill, <laughs> all the cyclists. Oh, but it's all good fun. Hello. Hello. So it's 5 to 11, we can't get into 11 o'clock, so just come out into the main road. These are all National Trust properties. Glorious. What a lovely day. I mean, wow. I mean, this house, what commanding views you've got over the Surrey Downs over there. As many of you know, the Lark Ascending is one of my favourite pieces of music ever. Pop, classical, whatever. It is such a beautiful piece of work. Lovely. The great man himself, Rayford Williams. He was a very humble man, although he came from sort of a well-off family. He was very, very humble and quite down to earth, so we hear. Seeing that every morning. Of course, links to the Wedgwood family and their association and friendship uh, with uh, Charles Darwin, of course, who did a lot of worm experiments here around Leith Hill. Oh, I'm getting a head in here. One of those heads. Whew. Lovely. Look at that. Great big open bay windows. Lovely. Be careful about copyright, they've got music playing in the background. I don't want to get a YouTube strike. Okay, let's go down to the cellar. Wow. I love a good cellar me. Paintings were by members of the Wedgwood family back in the 1960s, and they're copies of paintings found in Crete, on the island of Crete, which I was supposed to go to back in 2020 and had to cancel it because we all went into bloody lockdown. But I'm hoping to get back to Crete very soon, actually, because I really want to explore there. So, yeah, amazing. Dog. 
dark just the way we like it. It's a bit dark down here, but I'm used to it, especially from the old paranormal days. Although I still say, why do we investigate paranormal phenomena in the dark? No reason for it. Um, but yeah, very nice. I love to love a good cellar. So imagine all the wines would have been down here. Oh, and you can go across the other side as well. Let's have a quick look. Okay. Yes. Little alcove. I think the Surrey Hills are probably one of my favourite places in the world, actually, especially in this country. We're very lucky to have this on our doorstep. You know, and say so many great natural trust properties that you can visit. It is worth coming and being a member. I've been a member all oh, many years. And I'm gonna, as I say, really spank that membership this year. Let's go and carry on exploring the house. I'm still so impressed by that view. I mean, I was probably a little bit washed out on the camera, but it's incredible. So it's probably going right over to sort of Cold Harbour, Dorking, South Downs. Sea planes going across to Gatwick Airport's over there. Luckily, in this National Trust property, you can sit on the uh, seats. It's like the experiment they did at Avebury Manor, and when that was all re renovated and uh, reopened back about, about eight years ago now, and they did a BBC television series about it. But we went there and you can sit and sit on the bed and everything, which is wonderful. Yeah. I'm gonna go upstairs now. Nice timeline, born in 1872, Ray Williams. Goes right through. He was also uh, composed for a couple of films. Was it one or two couple of films? So he'd have been the John Williams or Jerry Goldsmith of his day. But I love that he went into film composition. Fantastic. It's really difficult. They've got music playing in the background and I'm trying to speak over it because it's a bit annoying if you're videoing. You don't want to get a YouTube strike. Who wants that in their life? Oh, look at that. Still that amazing, amazing view. So there you go, just a quick walk around Leith Hill Place near Dorking. What a lovely, lovely house. We want to come here for years, but as I said earlier, I think it was closed for, for a long time. It still seems to be sort of like a work in progress, you know, but that, that's fine, that's what the National Trust do. Really enjoyed it in there. Let's come out and have a quick look around as we're in the Surrey Hills. This is some of the outbuildings, as you can see. Oh, the lovely bird song. This looks quite an old building. Like a scullery or something, or some outhouse that servants might have used back in the day. Oh, 
it's a bit blowy now because we're going out to show you the view from outside. So I hope you can hear me alright, I've got a wind muff on so yeah, look at that. The Surrey Hills of Outstanding Natural Beauty as they call it. I'm quite right too. second and have a drop of water as we're out in the lovely Surrey Hills. There's so many places I want to go back to. We did a lot of exploring about 10 years ago to video them, like little, little video diaries um, before they came sort of fashionable vlogging. But I'd like to go back to Bodium Castle, that's on the plans, on the, on the agenda. Um, Winchester Cathedral and Winchester in general, we went there in 2009 with my late friend Alan, and that was fascinating. You know, the round table in the hall, but Westminster Abbey, uh, sorry, uh, Winchester, <laughs> Winchester Cathedral, I'd like to go back to. That was amazing. The original capital of, uh, of England. It wasn't really called England then, was it? So yeah, I'd like to go back there. Um, I'm glad I did Knoll House recently, because I've never done Knoll House before, and um, that's something that was on, on the list to go to. So yeah, um, there's a place in Western, there's a Quebec house in Western Mall I'm going to, so these are natural trust properties, um, well the cathedral isn't, but, so um, as I say, spank that natural trust membership. A little heavy head in there though, that's interesting, you know, I'm not going down the old psychic route, but I do sometimes, not even expecting it, it's not what I'm here for, just, um, pfft, I'm not psychic, but I do feel atmospheres, um, don't know why, because as I say, I don't think anywhere is haunted, I think it's everywhere. It's lovely, yeah. Wow, what a view. Right, onwards and upwards. Such a shame. I haven't got a Natural Trust shop here. I'm really after some mead the Natural Trust sell in their shops. Lethal Pay Workshop. Home Produce, I don't think it's even open. Let's have a quick look. I don't think it's even open. Oh no, there's a... The National Trust are very, very trusting. Please place money through the letterbox. I'm sure everyone does actually. No reason they wouldn't. And it's called Mark Cottage. Mark Cottage. That's a good name for a cottage, I think. A good name. Without the Q. Here's a little fact, folks. Legally, it's with a K. On my birth certificate. The queue became in when I was 18 years old when my friend Julie said, why don't you put a C in your name and try and be cool and trendy? Um, I went, mm, I sound like Mark Allman then. You know, and he's, everyone does it. Why not a Q? Mm, all right, I'll give it a go. And it sort of stuck. So, yeah. But my passport and everything says with a K. Aren't you glad you knew that? Those sheep again. Who are you? Hello. Right. <laughs> no, he doesn't like the queue in my name. There you go folks, hope you liked the little video from Leith Hill Place, immersing myself in Rafe Vaughan Williams. If you like the video please like, subscribe, the normal stuff, please leave a comment if you know a little bit more about this place. I say I'm not a classical music connoisseur at all, I just know, you know, oh I like that track, it's a beautiful track. But yeah, I wish I could play Lark Ascending in the video but I think um, I get a super 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 YouTube strike. So. Uh, Hope you're having a lovely day on this uh, was Easter Sunday today and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.